Alrighty, so continuing on directly from the last one. Right, so we had a sync error here. Right, it doesn't give much information, just a permission error or permission issue and a little code. But it doesn't say what. Now, it's pretty obvious it's this account where the problem is. So if we look on here, uh, if you're not seeing these tabs here, you need to tick this advanced features. So you want to check the security tab and yours will have a different hex string most likely that's your service account that's like connecting from active directory to azure active directory soon to be enter id and we go to the advanced, we can see here there's all like read, write, all properties, and there's all different ones. So it applies to yada, yada, yada. Now if we open one of those up, we can see here what it can do. Right, so what's happening is that account is trying to write onto this one. It's trying to write. Let's see, Let's see. there should be an update here somewhere. One of these errors will show it somewhere. Let's just go back to first error and okay. No updates, no we want updates. Alright. Okay. So that account has been deleted that must have been that was a group sorry right so what it's trying to write is uh, no not that it, it's trying to write the hex string for what was anchored uh, anyway we need to come to uh, here security now we won't see that account explicitly on the object itself but um what you have to do is enable inheritance hit OK, and now you can see that it's there. And now what that does is applies all those permissions to that object. And that allows the sync to complete. So if we go up, so there's the last one from the error. We just go up and got updates got an export from our on-prem on that account and that's the string that it was trying to apply to that account but it couldn't apply because it didn't have the permissions but we've given the permissions to it 
we go up, we look at the Delta import update, see that string again. Uh, <coughs> flow update, yeah, nothing. All right, and well, we have no more export errors, we have no more flow errors, no sync errors. Everything's fine. So what we can do now. Uh, so this is actually take two of this video. <laughs> so I've already completed this next step, but I'll just go through it anyway, because it takes 48 hours for it to actually realize it's been done. Um, yeah, I have my mic on this time, so we're all good. This one's going live. Uh, so you come over to identity. And you want to go to identity protection, I think. Where did I see it last time? Not under conditional access. Alright. Um, I will see it somewhere. It's in the overview, perhaps. One of these cards should tell us. Yeah, here we go. We just want to go to this um, secure score for identity. All right. Now, in the last video, we actually took care of the last two videos. We actually took care of pretty much all of this. Uh, this one may or may not kick in because we set up that service account. No, see, that's kicked in. Uh, but this one here is the main one. Yeah, so that's still on to address, even though I've actually completed it. So if we go to consent and permissions, just going to put these side by side. Right. So th this is how you deal with the improvement actions. Uh, we've got, it tells you to go here. So we clicked on that, that's brought that up. Select allow user content for apps. Yep, so it was on here, but I've set that. And then configure low impact permissions. So that's in here. Uh, we go add permissions. And you can, okay, this is a different one. APIs my org users. Uh, right. Uh, okay, user consent settings, admin consent settings. So that's step four. So I've just set this to users can request admin uh, consent. And then this is who can view. So you want to add your admin. And then you can set that. And then we're all good. Permissions. Right, so these are what we've defined as low risk. Viewing the user's email address. View the user's basic profile. So I've classified those two only as low risk. Uh, you can, under here, <laughs> I would never set this as a low risk. <laughs> User impersonation. 
I, I wouldn't recommend you do something like that. Uh, three, six, five management, right? So, I mean, if you ever need to set up an API, you, you go through, you set it. If you trust it, you trust that you set that up correctly. You can set that as a low. Uh, so <clears throat> low ones that don't require admin consent are okay. You can find something that's considered to be a high risk. Yeah, and go, uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, like, say, you may have seen Power BI. So th this, executives love Power BI. They don't so much love working on it because they wouldn't understand the first thing about it. But they love to look at the pretty pictures that this thing can put out. So by allowing this one, you don't need admin to sign off every time a new user wants to look at a Power BI graph or whatever. So uh, I will just show you in like well, that that's pretty much everything for this lesson. Um, you go through, you just set these up. This updates every 48 hours. Your score will go higher. It will then give you more of these and it'll just say, hey, why don't you, you know, look into these as well? Uh, so conditional access. Yeah, we've already got that. Uh, let's go back. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is the same. So you can look at what policies are applied to that. Let's see what else have we got. All strengths. We still don't have any policies that take that. Uh, mainly because I don't don't want to actually apply that yet until we can set that up and in order to set that up we need to do Intune or Endpoint Manager which I think I'll do that one next because I really want to get those conditional access policies underway uh, so in prep for the next lesson, what you will want, uh, go tenant admin, uh, right, you can, Uh, this one here is actually a subscription service, so we won't actually cover that one. It is amazing though. It basically gives permissions on the fly as people need them. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, right. End user experiences. Yeah, this is where you do all your branding etc. Uh, 
right connectors and tokens where we want to be so in the manage google play so what you want to do so we want to set up our scope tags and we want to uh, somewhere here is a place where you can update your account it's not provisioned but it's not <clears throat> it's not giving me oh there we go that's new right so looks like i have some homework before i can give this next lesson because we want to be able to enable our managed Google Play. Uh, looks like Google and Microsoft are butting heads again. And um, yeah, there, there has to be a way we can get that set up but yeah i'm gonna go read this do some homework and i'll get that next lesson ready for you